The SNP has accused Boris Johnson of shortchanging and shafting Scotland post-Brexit in a furious outburst. The SNP claimed it has been underfunded post-Brexit despite securing £172 million from the Shared Prosperity Fund. Although the UK government announced the largest funding package since devolution began in October's budget, the SNP claims the UK still owes £1.3 billion to Scotland. Hitting out at the Shared Prosperity Fund, SNP MP Dr Philippa Whitford said, The Tory government's continued shortchanging of Scotland through crucial post-Brexit funding is shameful. The Tories have consistently failed to deliver on their Brexit promises and are now leaving the devolved governments and councils in the dark. It comes as Brussels' stance towards Brexit and the Northern Ireland Protocol has been labelled as deeply irresponsible by a political expert. Amid the issues caused by the Northern Ireland Protocol, one EU official revealed on Monday Brussels knew the Brexit deal signed last December would cause practical problems for the UK. Following his comments, Ben Judah, senior fellow at the Atlantic Council, lashed out at the EU's stance due to the importance of maintaining the Good Friday principle. In response, he said, Deeply irresponsible EU attitude towards Northern Ireland give how tangled up implementation is with the Good Friday principle of parity of esteem and the need to have a long-term solution welcomed by both sides. It's not just a UK trade issue, the EU official said. We knew that the red line the UK drew in the negotiations of the TCA would create a series of practical problems. Lord David Frost has conducted several rounds of intensive talks in an attempt to resolve the issues surrounding Northern Ireland. The Brexit minister has called on the role of the European Court of Justice to be removed, an agreement on medicine supplies and a revised strategy for customs checks. Lord Frost has warned the UK will trigger Article 16 of the protocol if a resolution is not found.